Tomorrow, you also I also want to point out you went almost 40 minutes in this game in a physical game. That is a lot of minutes for a post player. Just how have you elevated to be able to do that in your junior season? Um, just trying to stay in shape. Uh, I want to stay on the floor as long as I can. And if I need to get a blow, I know he can come in and give me a blow um, and still produce for us. So I just want to um, glad that I'm in shape and I'm able to stay in the game. Problem. Go down to four and four. <clears throat> Tomorrow, the first two games you struggled with some fouls that kept you up the court as long as you'd like. And now the last two games you played 37, 39 minutes. You know, talk about your mentality and improving that and staying on the court and now making an incredible impact in this game. I think just being smarter on defense, um, not swatting at everything. Um, I think today I had a couple plays where I just tried to stay straight up and let the ball come to me instead of trying to go to the ball. So that's something that I've been working on. Tomorrow, or anyone else who wants any of you guys, um, this was the most fans I've ever seen in two games in a while. I'm sure you guys do with um, last year COVID and everything. Do you, how do you guys feel like this affected your performance if at all? And um, you like having a lot of fans who've been there and cheering you on. It's pretty loud. Uh, anyway, though, <laughs> the fans today just really showed up and said thank you because you definitely felt that we were out there like. Um, when we needed stops, you could hear them, like they were getting loud for us. So that was just an amazing feeling and just amazing to have, us behind, have them behind us. So we definitely uh, love our fans and can't wait for the next game. Any more questions for tomorrow? Go right now. Go back to Maria. Listen. Tomorrow, you guys, the third quarter was kind of a rough start. Texas really sort of put it to you. But I mean, you came back. So what was the mindset of closing that gap? And then Tennessee won this game from the free throw line. How how much is that is that a relief and, and some, something that y'all are celebrating right now? <laughs> what? Uh, I know I know something that uh, we've been harping on is just staying together. Um, when we stay together, when things get hard, that's I feel like when we play our best basketball because things aren't always going to be easy or go our way. Um, and then. The free throw line, we're just going to keep working on our free throws. Uh, we get a lot of free throws up in practice and uh, outside of practice, so we're just going to continue to be able to knock those down in clutch moments like this. Tomorrow, I felt like every time you got one of your 10 blocks tonight, the whole arena erupted. I mean, talk about that moment for you, like hearing that feedback, getting those big plays. I actually didn't know that I was about to have a triple double until I fouled out in overtime. Um, so I just assume that they get a lot usually when I block it. So I just thought it was just another good defensive stop for me. But yeah. <laughs> Anything else for tomorrow? I will see her and take questions for Thor Thor. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, all right, now we'll go back to Maria. I think y'all know I refer to you as the double Jordans. And, uh, <laughs> Tennessee needed every one of your minutes. Just if, if from the guard point of view, how tough was Texas? And then what did y'all do to maintain your composure? You can both answer and get back in this game and then win it in overtime. Um, I feel like, like I said before, Texas is a great defensive team. Um, they pressure uh, 94 feet for 40 minutes. And I feel like this us having poise and coming together calming down in moments where you feel like, you know, there was disrupting us. Uh, I feel like that helped us. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, even though it's only four games in, um, we haven't seen that type of pressure, but I feel like that type of uh, guard pressure, um, you're going to see like in our SEC play. So I really feel like that was great to prepare us for that. Um, I feel like once we all just sat down and like CK said, just stay together. Like once we realized we, if we stay together, like we can weather any storm, we'll be good. I think once we did that, we was like, okay, you know, we got this. Yeah, they just wanted to dis disrupt us. And that's yeah. one of the things that uh, Coach Kelly had said, don't let them disrupt us. We will not be disrupted. Um, so we just settle down and things like to go our way. And I think that uh, it also was a, a really good advantage that 
we can play off each other at different positions too. So we have multiple guys that can create as well. So that definitely was a huge plus for us. Power. Two questions. First, you guys, uh, Jordan, you called. First question, you called Tamari and a research last night. You, say what? you called some Tamari key and a racer for you guys oh, on defense. Yeah. And today she had an incredible presence in the paint. You know, just how important was she in this win? <laughs> I mean, without her, we don't win that game. Honestly, without everybody that played in the game, we don't win the game. So, like I said, Tamari, she was six six. She don't never want to admit it, but she's six six, probably six seven. Uh, she can move, she's fast, like, I mean, that's a cheat code right there. So I feel like having her on our team, um, just being there, if we get beat, like I said, she's an eraser, and I mean, I'm, <laughs> we be needing that, so, you know. She, tomorrow gonna do what tomorrow does, and, you know, we just gonna keep playing off of her. And then for both of you, after Ray went out that first game, I felt like a lot of people may have counted you guys out. What does this win today say about this team, and how good does it feel? Um, I feel like, you know, people are going to have their own opinions, even still, yeah. even after this win. But I think for us, what it is, it just shows us, like I said earlier, if we stay together, we can weather any storm. Because um, in that third quarter, when we looked up, it was like, you know, we had a couple of turnovers. Yeah, we had a couple of turnovers. We were down almost by 10 points. I think it was nine points. And so, you know, that was good tonight. Yeah, and that was that was hard for us, but I think that once we you know pull it together and we keep doing wins like this and getting you know stuff like this in games, it just builds our confidence up and you just take on anybody honestly. For Tyler, for Tyler, obviously you know you and Texas are ranked pretty closely. They were a little bit higher, but you know what was the mentality throughout you know this week? You had a little bit of a longer week heading into the game. You know what was the thought process of the team heading into it? The toughest team is gonna win. And we're not going. We don't like losing at home, so we didn't want that to happen. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna give a shout out to Jojo because she got us started, man. She did that, man. For real, she got us started. We we'll got Madison in the back. Jordan, you talk about this defensive pressure that Texas applied all game, but you were able to execute offensively in all three phases at the rim, attacking from deep. Just what did you see offensively that gave you the confidence to attack this defense? Did you hear that? I'm sorry. <laughs> Just the pressure Texas was giving. Yeah. You were able to attack it at the red. You were shooting deep. You were getting put backs. Just what gave you the confidence and what were you seeing? My teammates. Honestly, we knew um, coming in, we were very prepared that they were going to deny hard. So we knew the back door was going to be there. And we just had to just execute it well. Um, like I said, this team, we belong. We like to rebound. So we, we did that. So we knew the offensive rebound, if we miss, we won't get a board. Um, Another thing, we just stay calm and we just figured it out, honestly. No so we had to do uh, For Horace, then, you've been the leading scorer in every game you've played so far this season. Uh, you've been the leading scorer in every game you've played so far this season. Is that something you focus on the end this season or are you stepping up in the year? I just want to win, man. I just want to win. Well, you played some four, right? This is a little going off the Jordan Corson, but um, you just kind of come alive in the fourth quarter of these past couple of games. You know, when you see that running in the fourth quarter trailing, what clicks in your head that you just go off at the end? Just by the play. I just go into another mode, peace mode. I don't like losing. I don't like losing nothing. I mean, Joe doesn't tell you that. So um, <laughs> I just get real competitive and I just do whatever it has to take. My team ain't big. They, we don't, nobody on this team like to lose. So I feel like everybody has got that same mentality. Last nice question for Maria. Jordan uh, Walker, uh, Kelly mentioned after mon uh, Monday's game, yeah, that you were a little bit under the weather, and it looks like you're still fighting that now. But I mean, just how much of a gut check game was this for you? Because, like Jordan Horston said, I mean, you're three, then your mid range, then that shot in the paint. I mean, that just ignited Tennessee. Yeah. I, before I started the interview, I took a day from awkward to God because this week has been. Uh, Something different. I never felt like this in my whole entire life. So um, today, just being able, and I have to also thank the staff here for taking care of me, um, helping me out this week. But yeah, today I just wanted to play, just wanted to feel halfway, you know, decent to be able to play. And so just to go out there and 
not only be able to play, but to win and play against a team like that, that's just, it feels amazing. So I know I have my team behind me the whole, the whole week and, you know, they're checking on me and everybody's been, you know, thinking about me. So I appreciate that. But yeah, today was, was much anticipated and I'm glad we got to go. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you.